Well, I think we knew pretty quickly that we were that we'd want to have a child together. Uh, we started, you know, as soon as we got married, even before our honeymoon, we started trying to have a baby, and pretty quickly, I guess about a year into our journey, we discovered that we wouldn't be able to have a child without some IVF help. And my OBGYN recommended Dr. Lawrence to us. Courtney, she had seen her OBGYN, and he had sent them for a semen analysis. And when the semen analysis came back, there really wasn't very much on it because her husband was sick. And so um, when I called her, I said, you know, Courtney, it's very rare, but why don't you just make sure that he gets checked out? And he was diagnosed um, very soon afterwards with um, a testicular cancer. I was actually diagnosed with testicular cancer about two years ago, so July of 15, roughly. Um, and so our, our journey was on pause temporarily as we dealt with that. And then uh, once we dealt with that, uh, we resumed. And that's when we kind of got in uh, with Dr. Lawrence and uh, really started in earnest working with her. He was able to have a biopsy that showed that there was some sperm available in the other testicle. So at that point, she came in to get evaluated and we discovered that they both had their own issues. She had a very low egg count. Well, I don't think that we really knew at the time that there was actually an issue with me until we, um, when she, until she went in to retrieve the eggs. So at the time they found out that, that I really didn't have a whole lot of eggs uh, for retrieval. So when we found out that we could do ICSI, which is a little bit different, maybe the more aggressive type of, of IVF, we learned that there was a way for us to get pregnant naturally and we'd be able to have a baby of our own and for me to be pregnant, that was a huge relief for us. We really weren't sure for a long time that that would even be possible. She had four eggs that came out that month, one embryo that was usable, and we had a baby from that, that's baby Emma. And it was amazing. I mean, without Dr. Lawrence, there would be no Emma. And without Emma, um, things would look much differently yeah. for us. I think she's mm -hmm. been a, a blessing and we're so happy to have her in our lives. And I think one thing that really jumped out to me about Dr. Lawrence is her, her spirit and her uh, positive energy and enthusiasm and, and confidence in the process was really one thing that I think we appreciated. We felt very confident that she could help us to conceive a baby. I, w I wouldn't trust anybody else. I mean, I think she's, I think she's the best, of course. <laughs> she agrees. She says, thank you, Dr. Lawrence. <laughs>